Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Well, I'm I'm thinking that... So I'm, I'm very tempted, I've, I've, I've been thinking maybe we should get the pigs. Maybe we should go and at least like get some pigs, one load of pigs. So that we've got them in the shed and then we, you know, they're there and we can do stuff with them. But on the other hand, I'm sort of thinking, well... Yeah, but what if we end up using too much? What, what, what if what if we use too much food for them? Then it's not going to work, is it? It's it's just not going to be a good thing. If if we if these pigs are kind of game over, like it run out of all the food, it's game over for the pigs. We've got to sell them all, and chances are we're going to end up losing a big pile of money. Now we've only got eighteen thousand euros at the moment, and we could really do with a little bit more of a backup if we're going for a load more pigs. So I think. Being sensible, we should wait. This is the bit. It's like, do we be sensible or we do, do we take a, a risk on this? And <laughs> I'm genuinely torn on this. Risk or sensible? Do, do, we take, do we take a risk or do we just behave and be sensible? And quite frankly, I'd like to take the risk. I, I, I really would. But at the same time, I'm sort of thinking, you know, for once, maybe I should actually just be sensible about something and, and not go blundering in and, and doing things that we're not supposed to. Uh, we don't have any beacons on this tractor, do we? I suppose we could put the... Um, we, we could put the hazard lights on. Not that we're going to be out on the road for very long. Let's come on in here. Um... Right, I think what we'll do is we'll start fast-forwarding time. We, we've done enough in here. We might see a few weeds coming up through. So let's just do that. And we can skip through. We need to get to day five next. Day five is kind of the crucial bit. Now, we've got some cows there. We know all about that. Uh, I'm just going to turn off the GPS completely. Uh, it was Alt-C to turn that one off. And then you don't have any of the controls available for it. And... I think I might just go and grab the fertilizer spreader and put fertilizer on this little field to our right, just here. I'll come in there. We'll need to keep an eye on the cows and also the grass for the cows. We'll have a look at that. It, there is quite a number of different things that we're going to want to do. Now, I'm, I'm going to clean this one off in a minute. I'm not going to clean it off just yet. We're, we're busy racing forward with time at, at the moment. Um, you can stay there a second. I want to go to this tractor right here. And I'm going to get that fertilizer spreader on. I'm going to spread... No, actually, no, no. Sorry. The fertilizer spreader is on the case over there already. So we'll leave that one right where he is, there. And I will go New Holland Challenger. No, not Challenger, the, the, the case. The case would be... That's, there we go. That would be the case that we're after. Let's take this one out onto this field right here. We're not going to need to do very much in the way of spreading on this field. It's only just a quick up and down a couple of times, and then that is done. I should, if I zoom out like this, I should be able to see exactly what's happening with it. And I zoom it out like that, and we go like this. There we go. And you can see the edges of the field that we're marking out. Oh, it's a little bit right there next to the gateway. I didn't actually expect that. And I'm going to come around like that. So you can see it doesn't, like, go all the way out. And there it's sort of coming in an odd shape. Oh, it's kind of like a diamond shape in the field here, isn't it? And goes right out that side. That's, that's about it, really. It's just that little bit in the middle. That will put three layers of fertilizer on the field, then. That'll be our full three layers that we need. Don't need any more than that. So now I can come around like that. And over this way. Right, that is that field all done. It is half past five in the evening. We've got nothing else that we need to worry about today. Except, well, we will just check the cows. We will just check the cows again and make sure that they are all tickety-boo and, and wonderful and happy. And I'll close that one down as we drive in. I'll tell you what, let's just check the cows right now. Make sure they are indeed all tickety-boo. These guys here, water is low. That's not going to see them through the night, is it? And then these over here, water is low, which is not going to see them through the night because they only have two days worth. 
So we'll slow down. Actually, yes, let's start slowing down now. We'll get it to 7 o'clock and we'll slow down. We need to just do a bit of water for the chickens and a bit of water for the cows. And then we can jump it through the night, I think. There, right. Let's slow that one right down like that. I'll put this stuff away tomorrow. All right, we're going to have plenty of time to put things away tomorrow and also do the washing and, and all of those other bits and pieces so let's go and get this tractor here and oh wait a minute the chickens should have got that the installation should be now should now be complete it, it runs until about seven o'clock in the evening there we've got the pipes on there and it should be yes look at this now if i press r right there you can see just over there Water has gone in, and the chickens now are full of water. They don't have much in the way of actual food, but we have got the rest. There's a little bit of food spilt right there, which is, cleanliness is way down. Cleanliness needs to be better than that. So we'll run over and we'll grab our bucket, and we'll just clean them up a little bit. And then we've also got to get a little bit of grain out. Now, there was a mod that I was looking at that looked like it was kind of a bucket that we could use. Instead of having to drag that trail around, there was one in here, and I'm pretty sure that was under auger wagons. That one right there, look, this one. Front loader, telehandler. There. I think... If I've got this right, that one we can put underneath the um, auger for the actual grain storage on the farm. And then we can unload from that and into the chicken pen. So I'd like to get that one. I'd actually like to have that one as part of our farm. Because that one seems like it would be the perfect thing for shunting backwards and forwards instead of having to use a trailer to do it. I mean, yeah, we'll probably end up using a trailer to do it as well, but having that auger wagon thing, that seems like a really, really cool um, mod to at least just try out. So I'll tip that into there. How am I doing for grain? Am I going to see it through the... No, I'm not going to see it through the night, am I? Right. Uh, decisions, decisions. I'm going to leave the bucket here. The number of farms I've worked on where the bucket is just stored outside next to wherever it might be needed. That is going to be absolutely fine. There's no issue there with leaving it outside. So I think we will we'll run back over to the dealership. And we will get this other bucket a minute. So I want to go out this side. We get, we'll try out this other bucket thing. It might, it might be pretty good. It might not. I don't really know. But I think it's going to fit with this quite nicely. Because you've then got the ability to just using a bucket on the front you can unload straight from the grain uh, from the grain storage which is something that you can't actually do with a normal bucket which is one thing i'm a little bit disappointed with i've, I've always i know that there used to be a mod in fs17 that overwrote that that gave you the ability to um uh, to, to actually do that you could stick your bucket underneath the um the grain augers and it would unload and it was a, that was a really good mod i Never actually used it, admittedly, but the idea behind it was absolutely fantastic. Now, I've seen that one there being used in a video somewhere, but I, I don't know why it wasn't being used on ours. So maybe I was using the wrong sort of trailer for it. Maybe I, it, it's only sort of compatible with the grain trailers, perhaps, um, because what i seen it being used with was it was being put onto... Uh, it wasn't the cramper trailer that it was being hitched onto. It was, it may have been one of the Wilson trailers, actually. Whether it was that one there, I, it might have been the Load King. It may have been that one. One of these trailers here, it was being put onto that, and it was sort of lifting it up. But then it was coming out into the field on this thing, and being used, uh, being pulled along behind the forager. And that's kind of what it did. It, it sort of lifted it up so it was able to be used by the forager, which was a really... I, I didn't quite get how it was supposed to work and, and why it was doing what it was doing, but it, it did look pretty good. So I'm going to leave that one there until I do better understand it. We don't want a front loader attachment. We want a telehandler attachment on that one. This is, takes 2,200 litres. So it's not actually all that much that it can hold. The actual telehandler bucket itself holds... 2,600. So we hold more in the bucket than we do in this auger thing. 
but still it's it's a, it's a different mod that we haven't used before so we'll try it out um right there so i want telehandler i don't have any other options on it at all i've just got that so i will buy it yes for eight thousand euros it's a little bit pricey admittedly possibly a little bit more money than i would want to spend on such a toy but you know we'll we'll take it we'll try it we'll see what it does it might be that it doesn't work properly anyway but there is the horse shuttle pick that one up there we go we'll ignore the fact that we just completely smashed it and kind of half obliterated it that, that that's a, a minor detail that we're not going to worry about we're going to get this back to our yard and then we can take a better look at it now in theory we should be able to take the cover off and park it underneath that auger right there and unload it so there's the cover come off hang on a minute Oh, pressing N also is one of the standard keyboard controls for this contraption, uh, for the for the actual telehandler. So I'm I'm not too worried about that bit. Let me go. Here we go. <laughs> Start. Fill that one up with 2,200 liters of wheat, and we'll bring this over, and we're going to put this in for the chickens. And see how they like it. Bring that on round. There we go. And I'll bring this over here like this. Uh, let's see what options we've got. So, toggle steering mode, close cover. I don't have... I, I've, I've got... Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Look, pipe out. Why have I got pipe out? Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh, that is very cool. There we go. Pipe out. So now we can close the pipe again. And that is absolutely fantastic. Okay. I really, really like that. Hang on. With well, a little bit of wheat that we got left in here, we're going to stick it back in our storage. So we've got grain in that trailer over there, which we'll end up using as well at some point. We're not going to use it right now. So I'll bring you up over here, like this, and pipe out again, like that, and it will just empty it out. Slowly does it. Right, job done. Close it down again. I'm really impressed with this, actually. It's, it's, it's a really small, simple device, contraption, but I'm actually quite impressed with it. I, I like the style of it, I like what it does, and there's... I mean, there's no reason not to like it, really, is there? I, I, I'm, I'm impressed with this. I'm going to leave it on the loader for a minute. And I'm also going to put the cover back on it. Because that's almost certainly something that you'd want to do. So you don't get it choked up with um, gunk or leaves or anything else that might be blown around. And we'll switch that all off there. There's everything that I want to do on that side. So those are happy and cleanliness is actually all the way up. And then we're going to look over at these. We need water. We've got grass uh, and we've got everything else that we need for them. We've got one male in here as well, which apparently we do need from what I've been able to find out. Doesn't matter what breed you get or anything like that. You just need a male in with them and it, it, it helps. Um, it They do still end up producing milk as far as i know but I, I i don't really know well i i don't know that much about it yet so it's it's another one of those things that i still need to find out more and all right we'll, we'll do the water first we need to get quite a bit of water in for these because their water trough is not going to be installed until tomorrow which means that it's not they're not going to even start work on it until tomorrow morning and it's not going to be finished until tomorrow evening, which means that we've got to have roughly 24 hours worth of water, which is going to take a minute or two for us to pull through. I reckon probably three tankers would be about enough. Um, I'm hoping that we don't need much more than three tankerfuls, because otherwise it's going to take us quite a while to get the water through. Um, so long as I can get some for the night, then I can do a little bit tomorrow while we're just sort of fast-forwarding time in between doing a few of the other bits. And then I'm hoping by day five of spring, there's just 
back up and round a little bit like that there and start reloading i'm hoping by day five of spring we will the ground temperature will have warmed up to 10 degrees it's five degrees at the moment i'm hoping it will have reached that crucial 10 degrees that we need right here for our corn and then we'll be able to start planting that we've got a small window right there that we can do the planting the barley is now planted we don't have anything we don't have any wheat that we're going to be planting this time and then the harvesting obviously that's a little bit later on in uh, towards the end of summer and through the autumn as well and also right into winter like, ha harvesting goes right the way through until winter it's dependent on the weather though isn't it so if you get a lot of rain happening then it may put it may prevent a harvest from happening for a number of weeks which is always something that just it's, it's part of real life farming um harvest not happening because of you know all sorts of reasons hang on a minute i already set that one going didn't i i thought i did the plumber will arrive at six. Right, I did already do that. I did already pay for it. It's just I thought that it would have already had the the bits and pieces like kicking around it, ready to start installing everything. The horse pen, that one looks like it's already installed now. That's all done. And the pig pen over that side, pretty sure that one should be done as well. Water. I don't want to scroll down through all of those. Right. There. 13,500 litres of water. One more will see us through the night. And then we can get another one in the morning. So let's go over this side. That's the horse pen right there. We've now got water in for the horses. The sheep we're not touching on this time. And the pig pen here, that's still being installed. So does that start work tomorrow morning? I'm assuming that is also not going to start work until tomorrow morning. It's not got the visual graphic on it that this one... Uh, that the, sorry, it, the, the, the cattle don't have the visual graphic on it, but the pigs do. I don't quite know why they've done it like that. Um, whether it's supposed to be or not supposed to be, I, I don't really know. It could just be different from the for the pigs as it is for the cows. Maybe it takes longer to install the pig one. I, I, I really don't know. There's so many questions that need answering. Go up that way. Oop, steady. And am I still... No, I'm not still loading with water. It needs to... The, the actual pipe bit needs to be just underneath the surface of the water. So we'll pull up another tank full right there. And then whiz on back over to the cows. And that will see us through. That's, that's at least just enough for the night. And then once this bit is done, we will skip... The pigs, whether the... Well, I think the water will actually have started on that. But we... I mean, we're not, I don't have any money at the moment. That was our other thing, was we were supposed to have a big loan and be paying off the loan. So whether we're going to be... That was... Uh, hang on. Let me go here. So cows at the moment. There. Oh, no, it's not telling me what that one is. It's just going on here. So Holstein's in here. Water is looking good. If I jump out of there a minute. And come over this way. And I stand here. We've got 48 out of 200 cows. Because if I look on this bit. Good gravy. How many chickens have we got? We got a lot of chickens. It doesn't actually tell you how many you've got. It doesn't tell you the individual numbers of your cows, which is a slight inconvenience for us. I would prefer if it told us the numbers of the cows. And I'm thinking, you know, more you know, 48 cows is good. More cows would also be a good thing, but do we get more cows now? Or do we wait until the water thing is actually installed so I don't have to keep ferrying tanker loads of water around? And I'm thinking I don't want to keep messing around with tanker loads of water. So we wait another day and then we get some more. It will mean that the grass that we've got in that one, a lot of that is going to end up going to waste. But I think that's a small price to pay. We've, it won't, we won't lose all of it. We'll only lose some of it. So we're going to go here. We're going to sleep for a good 14 hours. It doesn't hurt every now and then 
to get a really, really good night's sleep. Right? It's, it's one of those things. Every now and then, a really, a, sort of a real killer night's sleep. That's what you need. It, it, it really does make a genuine difference. We're back to 56% cleanliness. Water, wheat, and barley is looking all right. And if I jump down here, water is down. Grass is down to about the halfway point. And cleanliness is on 56%. So we need to scrape them up a little bit. Grass in here, we've lost about half of the grass that was in here, by the look of it. Certainly lost some of it, at least. We'll be able to just scoop that up and dump it in so the cows are then happy. And if I look on here, everything is good there and everything is good there. The soil temperature is still 5 degrees, so we may not be able to do our planting tomorrow. It may not have come through soon enough. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? The pig pen over here is busy. They're, they're installing that one at the moment. He's busy working on that one and getting it all done. So we will leave that one doing what it's doing. And then we can go over here and have a look at the cows and see if anything has changed with these. Well, ladies, has anything changed? We've got pipe on the ground there and we've got bits of pipes and stuff over here. He's busy working through it. So by later on today, that will be done. The only issue I've got here is can I fit round that with more deliveries of cows this morning? I don't know if I can because I'm sort of thinking that we now need to go to this bit with the dollar reduce and we've got no loan. Now we had something like a 1.5 million dollar loan in our last one. We had, it was an obscene amount, and the whole idea is that we were supposed to have that obscene amount on this map, and we were supposed to then be paying it all back. So I'm going to I'm gonna take out the loan now. I'm going to go to 1.5 million, and then we'll see if it was actually going to, needs to be more than that. Right, almost there. 1.5 million dollar loan. Now, I could... Uh, oh, Euro loan. Right, I could go and pay that back immediately, obviously, but no, we don't want to do that. The idea is that we're supposed to invest that money. So, first up, we are... Uh, what am I going to do first? I think we'll go and get more cows. We'll go into here. We'll have this one, and we'll go running off up the road, and we'll get some more cows. We had... Tw we've got 48 cows at the moment, and I said that each load... In this one here, we would move 24 cows at one time. So we've got to only move 24 cows. Make sure that we do that. So we'll bring this one on round like this. Round we go. And we go racing off up the road again. Now, I know I said only 24 cows. I'm sort of thinking if I'm going to get a load of cows, maybe it would be better if I didn't just stick with 24 cows and I got a few more purely to speed things along a little bit. Right, if I if I get a full trailer load on here, there are all 36 cows that this one will allow us to take. Might that be a little bit better? Might that just sort of help things along a little bit and speed up the whole process? Because um, actually I am going to speed up time at least to five times now. Can I get across the bridge? No. Nope, apparently not. There is no way for me... Look at this. There, That should not be invisible walling me right there. Swing in round here. And we need our next load of cows. So I've got one male at the moment. I don't think I'm going to go for any more than that. I think we will stick with just the one. So we want Holsteins right here. And I want to move over... All of the cows that I can this time. I'm going to load the thing right up. 2,000 euros a time. How much were we paying last time? The livestock trailer is full. Right, that's 72,000 on that. At 2,000... Oh, it's 40... Well, that, that would be 43. 43 cows. No, that's not 43 cows at all. Why have... Buy 72,043 euros. At 2,000 a time, that would be 36 cows, which is what I thought it would be. So why the 43? That doesn't make a lot of sense, really. 
Oh well. Confirm like that. So I've now bought 72,042. Yeah, that, that, the number doesn't make any sense with the, the one dollar bit, with the one euro. Maybe it's more than a euro. And there was, like, it's it's an... Invi it, the part of the euro, say it was uh, 2,001.4 euros, that part of a euro was... It's just sort of invisible, but that's what pushed up the number a little bit further than um, what I was expecting. So I've got 36 on board. I'm going to take these back, and then we'll come back and we'll get another 36 as well. That's going to save us a trip. And I, at this point, I don't think anybody's going to mind me saving one trip on this, just because we are doing a lot of backwards and forwards. We've got more trips to come yet where we go and buy some of our pigs. It's definitely saving us money doing this by going and buying it ourselves. I'm probably not going to stay doing this indefinitely getting it ourselves we'll probably end up returning this trailer and going towards um having them delivered paying the delivery costs and stuff like that and then just having the trailers uh, having all of the livestock delivered and also picked up from the farm as well i know it does cost extra but i definitely think that once the numbers start to increase a bit. We don't want to spend all of our time racing up and down the road with the livestock trailer. Maybe if we were to buy ourselves a truck, which I'm actually thinking now that we've got this 1.4 million dollars, uh, million euros left, it might be a good idea if we did actually invest in a truck. Something for running up and down the roads with. It's definitely going to be faster than this. It's definitely going to save us a little bit of time, I think. I'll whiz in around that corner like that there those sharp corners that it doesn't sort of it's it's not laid out the best way for traveling backwards and forwards to the town is it and that's i th i think that when the farmer sort of when the farm was built they didn't sort of count on very very large trailers coming through and i've worked on plenty of places like that where you sort of look at it and you think, yeah, they, they really didn't plan it like that, did they? But then it, it kind of changes over and, oh, hang on, no, I want it on that one. So we want to move all of these over. So we had 48. We're moving in another 36. So we should end up with 84. Exactly. Perfect. There we go. We've now got some more in there. We go and get, go and get stuck. This, this is what I was worried about. It's getting stuck on that bit over there. If I bring that out a little bit further. There we go. Right. We need to hug the outer edge a little bit. And the same up this end. Like that. We're going to drive. Actually. Well, I was just wondering if I should drive this one over. Yes, we will. We will drive this one over to the dealership. And we will stop there. Because... I don't think I'm going to want the, the dolly that I've got on this trailer. I don't think I'm going to actually want to be using that one for very much. So the dolly doesn't really come into it. And then the other bit, I am going to want to be using that. I'll bring that one in round there. I should have just done that. Rather than taking out the sign on the other side, I should have just accepted that, you know, we go in like that. Um, the dolly, I could return that dolly. We we'll get a truck, and then that one can be going up and down, because we're going to need a milk tanker as well. And a larger tanker is not going to hurt. That's going to help us out with the cattle and with a few other bits and pieces as well, moving things around. So a tanker, along with the truck to pull said tanker and this trailer, and probably a big bolt tipper as well. All of those things, are, they're all things that we're going to be wanting to use. So let me just unhitch that one there. I'll take this dolly over and I'll return the dolly for now. I won't use it. I mean, if we do need to come back and we need to buy a dolly again, then so be it. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.